Yo! What up, y'all? Welcome back to another one. Before we get going today, I want to give a huge shout out to Candidates for sponsoring today's video. I'm telling you guys, if you've chewed for a while like myself and you're really wanting to kick the habit, uh, give Candidates a try. Uh, not only does it taste good, this is the uh, actually the cherry pie. It's one of my favorites. Uh, not only does it taste good, but no more playing sneak a chew from the wife or the girlfriend or the family. Uh, Candidates is all natural ingredients, no nicotine, no tobacco. Uh, Candidates, you don't have to spit, so all them nasty spitters laying around. No more of that. I'm telling you honestly, guys, it is the best alternative to dip on the planet. Guys, if you're if you've been looking for the right thing, this is the right thing. Give it a try. I will link candidates down in the description below. Bobby20 at checkout. Use that code at checkout to receive 20% off your order plus free shipping, y'all. Again, big shout out to candidates uh, for sponsoring this video. I love working with them. Um, they make it easy on me. Oscar, thank you. Uh, you're the man. Let's get into the video. Well, you're not Bob. No. You have to say it up. Well, another beautiful crisp morning. This cold snap's been pretty good. I've had a lot of good hunts with it. Um, got another lesser hunt today. Got a handful of snows in it, and we gotta be real careful. Specs closed yesterday, and there's just a very small number, but there are some mixed in, so just gotta watch for those, but should be a good hunt. We hunted here actually just a few days ago, and they are right back where they were the other day, so they played nice the other day. Hopefully they do it again. P. Diddy is back. I'm back. You were sick. We got we got whatever is going on around or going around right now. I've got. Yep. But it's not the big C. No, it's not the big C. Thank goodness. As you can tell. Did you get your rectal exam? We got. Did you get your rectal exam? <laughs> That's exactly what he needed. <laughs> For my cough. That's yeah. what I've needed this whole time. Well, how else do you check for it? <laughs> uh, as you can see, we got some snow on the ground. Holy cow. Doesn't feel like Kansas anymore, Dorothy. Uh, it's really cold for us, not gonna lie. And uh, we got a bunch of geese in. A ton, an absolute metric poop ton. And uh, huh. It's crazy because we didn't get birds for a long time because of the warm and now with this big cold they're all here so they're catching up to me i gotta go we'll talk to you in a minute Seven forty-eight. it's shooting light we're good to go all right everybody everybody hear me Yes. I know everybody's probably hunted out of A-frames and you've heard me do this on the videos, but the biggest thing today is do not sit your gun on that rail in front of you and leave it alone. Don't, just don't. Tuck it in a corner like he is. Tuck it in between the canvas up against the strap so it will not fall. If you let go of that thing, see how we're angled down this way? Yeah. It's going to fall. It only takes one person to bump it, a dog to bump it, the wind to blow, and it's crashing over. So that is utmost keep them guns on safety and hold them or tuck them if we're if we don't have birds you know um just don't blow each other's ear out i know some some guys are shooting three and a half just know you're shooting a three and a half and it is three times you know so when it's here you keep your lanes guys on the end you guys can really go out to the right but um they'll be coming from town and uh, we'll see them coming, so we'll have plenty of time to get down and, and everything. If it's a big volley, like 50 plus or 20 plus, you know, or 100, it can get real big. <clears throat> like I was telling them last night, the best thing to do is to scoot your seat forward and put your head right, put your eyeballs right over the ball and your hat like right there. And so you just pick your closest bird. I don't care if everybody shoots the same bird, at least it dies. It's better than having everyone go up here spraying and these just fly off. So we'll be shouting down birds in the, if, there were, if there's landed birds, birds are in the decoys. So that means when we call, come up and just know the first shot, is get, they're going to come up. So if there's, our, if there's only three, just know there's eight of you 
they're gonna die everybody else you know what i mean just focus on a bird you know so easy to get up and go hoo, 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 and you don't even and you squeeze a trigger too late because you can't pick have an area where you're gonna go and get rid of your first shot and you can keep going i think that's the biggest thing is people have their head down and they're not watching the birds come in then they just stand up and like holy shit where do i go so just have a destination in mind you know other than that just have fun and hopefully we kill the hell out of them Whew. Yeah, yeah. drink? I'm good. I, guess. I wouldn't share it with you anyways, you're sick. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Here, open up. <laughs> Waterfall. End up spilling it all over you, getting cold. What's the temperature right now, do you know? Uh, nine. Nine degrees. No wind chill today. Oh, I don't know. I bet, it, it said it's supposed to be 15. Real fill, wind chill, 17, so that doesn't make any sense. That means we have zero wind, so uh, on these cold days, you got to get out of the decoys. Laying on our backs, you would absolutely freeze, especially yeah. if we did have some wind. So, perfect situation. Um, like I said, we had a ton, an absolute metric ton of snow geese move in the area. So, it went from being able to find dark feeds to now trying to isolate. Yeah trying to isolate and actually find the dark feeds. So specs are closed. Uh, so today is going to, going to be very, 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 uh, me and Gerald are going to have our eyes on the flocks. If there's a spec, we will not call the shot. I've already told them all about it. So I stress, uh, pay attention to your seasons, guys. Know what goes in of season and out of season, what's splitting, what's open. You always need to be looking. So got anything to add? Yeah, that, that spec split makes it real hard. Yeah, that's and that's and one reason. I don't reason. quite understand it. Do you have a, a reason for it? Because I know people will wonder. Dude, I, I am not a biologist or a game warden, so I, I honestly have not looked into it. That's just what Kansas has always had, and it really kicks us in the butt, too, because we got a lot of specs in. And the problem is, is when it gets this cold, they really everything starts roosting and flying together rather than when it's warm and they're separated they're just trying to survive they're huddled up and they're getting up and they want to pack tight in the field so that's another like i said that's another reason why i picked this because it's mostly lessers and some snows so. no telling how many snows we might see today but um i know a lot of these guys have never shot one they'd really like to shoot a snow so i give her a whirl Misses, boys, swings and misses. Shoot over the top if they can. Oh, there we go. Shoot the two up top, up guys. Top, guys. Well, the small groups haven't liked us so much. Now a big group's coming. I think that's what we need. Need some wind. Need some wind. I think the big group's gonna do it better. Here. I hear specs. I see them. See, see all the specs? Guys, over the top. Good shooting. There we go. Reload, guys. 
Well, that's the shot we got to take, I yeah. guess. You know what I mean? They're, 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 they're pa passing over the top of yeah, us. Yeah, they're not landing. For some reason, I think it's just still so cold, they want to fly still. There we go. On the board. You know what to do. Come on. So here's our spread. I'll show you real quickly. Uh, we got it tied in front. They're really close to the grass line, as you can see, but we only ran right at probably 25 dozen darks and sprinkled in some uh, snow goose full bodies. So we originally had three clones over here, just thought it was too much. So I got to pick up some birds. <laughs> There we go. Yeah, baby. They're doing it. Look at this. No specs. Nope. Shoot them, guys. In the decoys. There we go. Nice shooting. All right, you want to get the clones on? Yep. Help me with these clones, Preston. Actually, Bob. What? I'm empty. Shoot him. Shoot that bird. Nice shot. <laughs> I didn't know he was alive still. Well, there we go. They did it nice. We're going to put some clonage back out. That was nice. That was real nice. Well, we got two clones up. We're going to leave them. Try to put some decoys around these batteries to hide them a little bit. Be good to go. All right, first time we're doing this, we're going to let old Billy Joe down here take the GoPro and oh, shoot away. Take it away. They're giving it. in real good right front. Up top. Back to in a sailor. That, that sailor's going towards the road. I heard a speck. They're in the very back. Oh, side. yeah. We'll take the one. Oh, there's two up front. Yeah, too. two up front. So these are specks. Do not shoot those two specks on the right, whatever you do. Front and center, guys. Front and front center. And center. Go down. I watched that cripple. Yeah, I hit him in the hit, butt. I seen him. That was a That was all. Look at the feathers out front, yeah. boys. Someone crushed him. Holy smokes. Go down, bird. Well, I hit the butt of that one. He's going to go down. We may not get to shoot, so. He's front and center. Look at that blue. Oh, look at the snow. Nope, he's look, at that, look at that snow. Yep, look at the two right there. Him. We're going to shoot the ones on the ground here in a bit. There were three right there, too. The, the lesser should go to the ground, guys. Okay? Don't go up. Just what's on the ground. Please, before you shoot, look at what you're shooting at. See, he's right here, so no shooting. Look at that. Yeah, yeah there's specs right there. Let them do their thing. Ah! 
Maybe the snows will work. Look at the snows. They're right above us. Yeah. We're going to try to let these snows get down, guys. Stay low. If we call it, just shoot white. Tell them down there. This one might be good. Once they start laying down. Nope, oh, back right, right there. Okay, we got Lester's in the decoys right here. Okay, there's a there's a speck in the decoys right there. There is a speck in the decoys right in front of you guys. There is a speck in the decoys right in front of you. We're gonna try to just do white. Careful, be careful. Look at that blue. Oh boy. Wow, dude. They so love cool. it. Oh, Isn't that awesome? Goose, goose in the deep <laughs> that that speck, on the right. is, speck is right there walking. Snow geese on the right. Get ready. Okay. Snow's on the right, guys. Shoot the snows, guys. Snows. Snow geese. <laughs> Good job. You killed the blue. That's a pretty blue. Nothing. <laughs> He is uh, not caring about much. There you go, shoot him. Nice shot. Well, there we go. We went snows only. Look at that big adult. Holy cow. Look at that big guy. Holy smokes. Oh. Well, that's all I can find. A really nice blue goose. Got smashed. It's got to be out here. It's just blending in with the snow so much. I swore, I, I can swear I've seen it fall. I'm going to have to do a lot of searching here in a minute, but there we go. Uh, a lot of these guys have never even barely seen a snow goose, so that was special. We waited and waited. There were specks in the way. Had to let them get out of there. Finally got to go on some snows. You know me. I love to get them snows on the ground, so... Uh, I wanted to hit on something on one of the last videos in the comment section a lot of people were razzing Gerald about wearing uh, like a bright blue like jacket hoodie guys we're in an a-frame hunting snow geese what I'm getting at we're in an a-frame geese can't see in an a-frame I'm wearing glasses today is it mattering no because we're not looking into the sun um what i'm getting at is if gerald had been wearing a full white suit in the a-frame nobody would have said anything because we're snow goose hunting but a full white suit would stick out way more in an a-frame than a blue jacket get what i mean what I'm trying to say is, guys, just think about what you say before you say it. My mama taught me that. Tried and true. Bob, don't you say something with Think about what you say before you say it. Now, if we were laying in the decoys, yeah, I can tell you, Gerald would definitely not be wearing a blue jacket. He'd be wearing white to blend in with the white decoys, or he'd be wearing a black hoodie if we were laying in dark Canada goose decoys. So, I hope I got my point across. Uh, there's a lot of people that love to nitpick what I do. And um, I don't know if it's just thinking they're professionals or if they just want to complain to somebody. I think it's that. I think they just want to complain and it's easy for your thumbs to go a tapping and complain. It's not face to face, you know. Seems like uh, the new generation, not only them, not only the young, there's some older guys too that become keyboard warriors. I'm just gonna tell you, kind of make yourselves look like fools a lot of the time. So let's make, uh, let's make the hunting industry a little nicer. Let's be kind to each other, please. Well, boys, awesome. Now we're still looking for the blue. Yes, sir. He might've found it. I don't know. He's just getting back from looking. You like it? Oh yeah.
everything we talked about last night? Yes, sir. <laughs> Dude, that was like crazy. It? That was crazy. Yeah, yeah. It was good. That was good. Good shooting, boys. That was awesome. Okay, real quick, we haven't went through where everybody's from because it's pretty remarkable. We're in the center of the, the nation. Where are you guys from? Louisiana. Louisiana. Ambassador, Louisiana. Louisiana. California. California. North Carolina. North Carolina. Literally, we got the Atlantic, the Pacific, and down south, the Gulf. That is awesome. <laughs> well, here we go. Check out what we did today. Holy smokes. What a good one. Oh, man, I'm digging the new camera, dude. I know. It's nice. I had to buy a new one. And boy, is she clean. There's no way I'm going to keep it that clean. Nope. It'll last about a week. <laughs> It'll last about a week. It's going to be muddy as heck. Oh, uh, this uh, this hunt is how old? A month and a half old? No, it's not. A that month? Old. A month. A month old? You got a bloody nose. It's dry out here, dude. That's probably what it is. It is. It's cold and dry, as you can see. Got a bunch of snow, as a lot of you probably did as well. Uh, this was the first day we hunted that field. We actually hunted it the next day, which produced the 82 banger. Uh, banger day and um, I was kind of freaked out about hunting it two days in a row because I had never done that especially with clients uh, that feed after this day that evening that feed went from the day before being about 2,000 birds to like well over 10 12,000 birds so hunted it the next day same exact setup same exact spot and absolutely wrecked over 80 birds so um, those clients were awesome. I remember that group. They were, they were a, lot, a of, lot of fun. A lot of fun. They we were, were the, They were from all across the country. Remember, we had East Coast, West Coast, and the Gulf. Yeah. It was cool. They were strung out all over the place. Big shout out to, to all them clients, all them boys for coming. Uh, we had a blast with y'all. Uh, like I said at the beginning of the video, big shout out to uh, candidates for sponsoring today's video. Uh, sponsors like them help me keep rolling uh, because the old tube of you kind of don't like Bob anymore so big shout out to them if you guys have not tried candidates guys if you're a chewer and you want to try something new uh, trying to get away from that bad habit I would highly recommend give candidates a try um, they're little pouches and uh, they're not bad at all uh, but thank you all for being here subscribe if you haven't it's getting cold be safe on the water guys safe with them guns keep them on safety but until next time